Please note, this is not one of those hold your hand and gently guide you to abundance type videos. Today, we're doing things differently. I'm laying out 19 brutally honest, no-nonsense, practical steps designed to catapult you from a life of scarcity to a life filled with abundance. Don't expect poetic philosophies or comforting anecdotes. These are actionable steps, tools you can actually use. So, here's the deal. You can either stay, absorb, and commit to flipping your life around, or you can leave, no hard feelings. But if you decide to stick around, be prepared to ditch the excuses and get serious about your journey to abundance. So, ready to get started? Here is the list. One, stop seeing yourself as a damn victim. Every time you catch yourself saying, why does this always happen to me? Or everyone else is lucky except me. Take a moment, acknowledge it, then flip it. Instead, ask, what can I learn from this? Or how can I make my own luck? Life isn't happening to you, it's responding to you. Two, put on your metaphorical opportunity goggles. Spend a week forcing yourself to find three new opportunities a day, no matter how small. This isn't about taking every opportunity, but about training your brain to see them. Whether it's a networking event, a free online course, or just a chance to learn something from a stranger, recognize it. Three, take a week off from social media. Why? Because it's a breeding ground for comparison, and comparison is the thief of joy. Spend that time focusing on you, not on what everyone else is projecting. When you come back, be selective about who you follow, making sure they align with your new abundance-driven mindset. Remember, you're the average of the five people or accounts you spend the most time with. Make it count. Four, put a rubber band around your wrist. Every time you catch yourself bitching or whining about something, snap it hard. Sounds a bit aggressive? Good. Physical reminders can accelerate change. Aim to go a day, then three days, then a week without snapping that band. Five, every evening jot down a what-if scenario that centers on abundance. What if I landed that dream job? What if I took that risk and it paid off big? Stop using what if to worry about shit that might never happen and use it to expand your mind instead. Six, every day, do one thing that scares the hell out of you. Start small. Hate phone calls? Make one. Scared of rejection? Ask for something and risk a no. It's not about succeeding. It's about realizing a no or a setback isn't the end of the world. Seven, if you're taking on opportunities out of scarcity or FOMO, if something doesn't make you say, hell yeah, then it's a no. Be selective, value your time, and invest in things that light you up. Eight, talk money with friends. Yeah, it's taboo, but screw that. Start having open conversations about finances, investments, and money goals with your friends. Sharing knowledge, strategies, and stories can shift your perspective on what's possible. Nine, Dedicate one day where your default answer is no. Why? To reclaim your time, reset your priorities, and realize you don't have to jump at every demand thrown your way. 10. Make a bucket list. Now pick the easiest thing on it. Do it this week. Waiting for someday. Someday is a myth. Now is real. Abundance isn't just dreaming. It's doing. 11. F asterisk asterisk K it. List. Opposite of the bucket list. What are you done giving energy to? write it. Say F asterisk asterisk K it. Move on. Every unnecessary burden dropped is a step closer to abundance. 12. Write a one-page biography of your abundant future self. Read it daily. Sounds crazy? So does letting scarcity drive your life. Pick your kind of crazy. 13. Get off the damn hamster wheel. If you're constantly running but not getting anywhere, maybe it's time to step off and pave a new path. Stop doing the same things and expecting a different result. That's insanity. Identify one thing that hasn't been working for you and pivot. Now. 14. Stop blaming your parents, your ex, or your third grade teacher for your mindset. You're not a puppet. Take control. Acknowledge the past, sure, but don't let it be your crutch. Own your present. Own your future. 15. Sit down and write a resume of all your screw-ups, missed opportunities, and failures. Now, next to each one, write what you learned. Realize that every setback was a setup for a comfort. Dedicate one day where your default answer is no. Why? To reclaim your time, reset your priorities, and realize you don't have to jump at every demand thrown your way. 17. 
For every account you follow that feeds scarcity or makes you feel less than, replace it with one that screams abundance or growth. Your feed, your rules. Curate wisely. 18. Every month, learn a skill that has nothing to do with your job or daily life. Pottery? Sure. Juggling. Why not? The point is to remind yourself that abundance is also about the richness of experience. 19. Once a month, take a day off. No plans, no goals. Do what feels right in the moment. Remind yourself that you're a human being, not a human doer. Enjoy the abundant luxury of just being. All right, we've been through the 19 steps. Now, here's the deal. I don't care if you liked what I said. In fact, I hope I pissed some of you off. Why? Because anger sparks change. Use it. Take the steps or don't. It's your old life if you choose to keep it. Remember, the world doesn't owe you a damn thing. It's on you. And if you do choose to act on this advice, remember this. The shift from scarcity to abundance isn't just a one-time deal. It's a daily choice.